women will never beat men at football. Physiologically, they won't be able to. I, I, I don't think so. Now this is an interesting topic, and I want to put this to the test the best I can. So today I'm going to be directly comparing my stats to a women's footballer and seeing what the difference really is. We've got some skill based challenges and also some physical tests, but that's not all. I'm also going to be stepping into the cage and taking on the women's world champion Panna player. And to finish the video off, I'll be going head to head in a freestyle battle versus the number one ranked freestyle football champion. So all these tests should give us a really good idea of what the difference actually is. So to give you some stats about myself for comparison, I'm 24 years old, my height is 6 foot 1, I've been playing football since I can remember, been freestyling since I was 14 and I've recently been doing Panna for the past few years. So bear this all in mind when comparing my stats to the women's players. So the first challenge will be up against the world champion Panna player Harriet, in which I went head to head with her for an ITV show called The Cage. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch the whole thing. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, you know the rules, back to back. Out of Panna, freestyle and football, I'd say Panna's the area where I'm least confident in, so let's see how I get on. On my signal. Here we go, it's Come gonna out. kick off. Here we go. So the game got underway and straight away I was able to get an early goal. A panna game is three minutes long, a goal is one point and a panna is three points. I give you all I can. Not the smoothest footwork by me there, but Harry's defending was solid and I wasn't able to find any opening for the panna. Oh. Although I did manage to get a nice little hocus pocus goal, 2-0 to me. Oh. Oh. So the game went on for a bit and it was 3-2 to me and then I got embarrassed massively. Oh. I, mean, I can see it! I can see it! There we go! Oh. Rex and says it all, I did not see that coming at all. Super quick feet. And then to add insult to injury, about 15 seconds later, this happened. I managed to get a few more goals at the end of the game, but couldn't find any way to get the panic. <laughs> So yeah, that's the result. I got pretty much battered. She panned me twice. I managed to get a few goals myself, but it just wasn't enough to take the victory. I think this just shows in Panna, Harriet clearly had the more practice and was more skilled player than me. And actually, it was a lot more physical than I was expecting. So yeah, that was the Panna test done. But overall, football is a lot more of a physical game than Panna. So let's see how my stats compare to a women's footballer. Now I'm at the pitch, and I'm going to be seeing how I compare to a women's footballer. This should be interesting. This is Kaljic, she's a footballer and also a freestyler and has played college football in America. And here's some of her highlights. What an unbelievable finish that was. So we got our boots laced up and went straight into the first challenge. Right, so the first challenge we're gonna do is the dribbling challenge. We've got some cones here. We're gonna see how quick each of us can dribble through them. Let's go. So this is a mixture of pace and control. Let's see who gets the quickest time. So I went first and I felt like that was a fairly quick run from me. This test is a mixture of physical and skill based, so the results should be pretty interesting. <laughs> On the dribble test, you can see that I was just over half a second quicker. So realistically, not a massive difference at all there. Next challenge is the shooting accuracy challenge. We're both gonna have 20 shots into the top right, and we're gonna see who gets the closest. After this test, I'll show you a heat map of where each of our shots went, so we can get a really good comparison about who was the most consistent. <laughs> All right, that was really good. Now it's my turn, 20 shots, top corner. Let's go. Oh, no. That was pretty good. Let's see the results. So this was Calder's attempts. And this was mine. As you can see, there's really not much difference here. Not much to separate both of us. Now the sprint test. This challenge is completely physical, so I'm expecting a big difference.
With the sprint test, as you can see, I finished around four meters ahead. And I think this test shows one of the reasons why the men's game has an advantage. Being able to run quicker is obviously an extremely valuable attribute when playing football. So interesting results here. Next up, we have the shot power test. So we took three shots each and we take the average. Average is on screen now. My average score was 67. Kaljic was 58 miles per hour. Once again, this is where the physical differences are helping me out and allowing me to get that extra power on my shots. Next up was the passing accuracy test. 10 shots each, how many end up in the mini goal? Three out of ten is a very decent score. Let's see what I got. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping at a while. Now we both ended up with a score of 3 out of 10 on this. The final test we did was the touch test. This is completely skill based, so the results will be interesting on this one. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, got 4 out of 5. Next up was my turn. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Oh. I also scored 4 out of 5 on this test, so another draw there. We also did a control test from the air, but I'm not going to bore you with this because it wasn't that difficult. We both got 5 out of 5. So overall on the football comparison, it's clear that the physical challenges such as the sprinting and the shot power had a big difference. But when it came to the more skill-based tests such as touch and accuracy, there wasn't much difference at all. Now for the final part of the video, I'm joined by the number one ranked female football freestyler, Leah Lewis. This is Leah Lewis, number one ranked women's football freestyler, and I'm going to be challenging her to a freestyle battle. We've got three 30 second rounds each, let's see what I've got. So we both laced up our shoes, got warmed up, and it was time for round one. So round one straight away, I'll start off with some around the world, just basic lower combo here. Then I flick the ball to the neck and try and go for a little transition back down to the feet and I pretty much dropped it for the rest of it so that was all that I did in round one. Leo straight away, super consistent, some crazy handstand move there, drops down, still hasn't dropped it yet. That's really techie stuff there, there's no chance I could do that. Bear in mind Leah's done battles before so she's super consistent, she knows what she's doing, she's got a routine. Perfect finish there, now on to round two. So I'll start round two with some lowers, little double around the world there, little combo. Move on to some alt lemons and drops the ball, little combo there. The thing is, I didn't really know what to do, I was kind of just riffing it, I didn't have any idea in my mind what I was going to do. And I found out I just ended up forgetting all my tricks. That was okay, yeah, just not very fluid. If you watch Leah perform, she's just super smooth with it, doesn't drop it and that was really techy, little double, like, what's going on here? There's just no chance I could do that. The flexibility, obviously, is really good for the handstand moves and stuff like this. Flick up there, once again, definitely beat me in round two as well. Now into the final round, I start off with a little spin thing. I guess that was all right. <laughs> double around the world. Some knee catch thing, not too bad at all. That was quite a nice little transition. Neck flick to soul stall. Some lowers there. Finish off with, actually, this was quite decent. If I got that in a competition, I'd be really happy. Little Miguel in there. Finish off, went for the handstand, didn't land it. Final round for Leah. She's got 30 seconds. Handstand sick, what she got. That was an unreal transition. Awesome handstand thing, flick up. I don't even know what to call these moves, they're just crazy. And then to finish off, Jordan Stall. You don't understand how difficult that is. That's insane. There's nothing else you can say other than Leah won all three rounds extremely convincingly. So there we have the final results in. I lost the Panna test. Overall, probably won the football one and lost the freestyle one. But I think it was a really interesting experiment just to see how skill and physical based challenges match up when men and women are playing football, freestyle and Panna. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check all the people out in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.